earthquakes, droughts, floods, volcanic eruptions, pandemics. Asia and the Pacific is the world's most disaster-prone region, with 75% of those affected by natural disasters worldwide living in the region. A year into the COVID-19 pandemic, Asia's economy has contracted by 0.2%, the first recession in the region in almost 60 years. In a moment, these extreme phenomena can undo the progress built over many years. Countries and communities can better protect themselves, and any progress they have made, if they can respond with the right interventions while a disaster is unfolding. Now casting is one way to do this. Now casting is a technique for short range forecasting. Essentially, now and forecasting combined. Now casting in economics is the prediction of the present, the very near future, and the very recent past state of an economic indicator. How is now casting done? Predicting economic conditions takes time because its metrics, such as gross domestic product or GDP, have data that come so infrequently. With now casting, proxy indicators with more frequently available data are used to assess conditions in real time. So instead of waiting for quarterly GDP data, researchers use consumer and business surveys, cement usage, flow of ships, visit to malls, and more to build the picture of the economy. Knowing the real time state of the economy will allow policymakers to assess the socioeconomic impacts of disasters, economic crises, and other extreme events. The Japan Fund for Prosperous and Resilient Asia and the Pacific is funding a technical assistance that aims to help member countries use now casting frameworks in times of disasters. Specifically, the TA aims to use now casting for disaster impact assessments and socioeconomic monitoring. By project completion in 2023, developing members will have a select, consolidated, state of the art, timely, and accessible data sources and now casting technologies for impact assessments. A toolkit of data and methods for customized application in developing member countries. Retrospective impact assessments and case studies of previous disasters. This should help them formulate better policies and responses in times of disasters or pandemics.